What's up everyone, Kokeza here and welcome back to Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends Complete Edition. Today we are doing the Battle of Fan Castle, which is a huge turnaround battle for everyone. Since Wu decided to screw Shu and side with Wei, and then both of them decided to screw Shu by trying to kill Guan Yu. And I will be getting the gameplay of Lian Shi in this battle. Since I want to get her out of the way as soon as possible. Since I don't really know how to play her that well. Although I did practice with her a lot. She's like over 100 level now I think. Which should be enough to go through this stage without any serious problems. I'll probably get the Lushum gameplay in the next battle. It depends on who else we have at, at choice. So let's see, weapons are fine, skills also fine, and as you can see she's level 116. That's really close to the maximum level. be seen as betrayed, but we cannot allow a worthless alliance to suck us dry. But my lord, what about the princess? Our lord has made his decision. For the future of wood, we need worry only about the task that lies before us. Let's go. Now is our chance. For the sake of Wu's future, we must slay the god of So there are two things that I noticed about Nyansha, and that is, is no time to be that she's apparently faster than battle. usual characters. I'm referring to her movement speed. And that it seems that the closer you are, the more damage you deal to people. Even though she's a ranged character. So let's try out her combos. The One Piece, which is my most favorite, One Piece into EX, because it almost instantly gives you a Storm Rush if you hit it right. So let's see our Two Piece. Well, it gets rid of the enemies in your way, I guess. So it's not that bad. You see, this was a relatively fast storm rush. So let's see her three piece. 
just one giant shot. Wow, and already another stone rush. Let's pick up this. We're gonna need it. So let's see our four piece into EX. And I failed it. Nope. Nope. You see, he tried to back, to back away. He tried to withdraw. Which is not good for us. It appears that even my might was not enough. I can see why you are labeled the god of No, nope. what the hell? This was Fushiran's fastest withdrawal ever. No, it is time for us to press the attack on Fawn Castle. I don't know what the hell happened there. I see the shoe officers have turned. But basically the Mifang and Fushiran, they are there to open the checkpoints. So if you defeat Mifang, of course he will open only one checkpoint, but if you defeat both of them, they will open both of the checkpoints. Excellent. You are an inspiration to us all. We cannot hold out for much longer. Yeah, everyone is dying. Nothing, nothing special. What we the hell? No Let's return. see her four piece. Also pretty strong for storm rushes and stuff. Wait, what the hell? You traitors! How dare you betray your alliance with my brother? You appear here in Jing and turn your blades against us. You've done very well. It's good to know I can count on you. And now let's go for the bearded man himself. Oh my god. Let's try out Hanmuso. Quite a high damage. And he will withdraw here, we will still need to kill him, of course, later on, but for now he just withdrew. It seems Guan Yu is attempting to flee. After him, no matter what, he cannot leave this battle alive. Now let's help our guys over here. Even if Mu is coming here, it doesn't change the fact that we have the advantage. Prepare to attack Bond Castle. What the hell? Finally. Oh god. They're going to start throwing rocks at me now. Well, at least I killed him before that happened. Uh. I think he's pushing himself too hard. Well done. Most impressive. It's as bad as you see. Could you please lend me a hand? Dude, I just helped you. What the hell? I'm going to have your head. I thought Whoa. you would be passing by here around now. Whoa. Come, let me I failed everything. Like, do you see how much damage it does when you hit him in the face with this? Words simply can't express how amazing you are. Come forth. But that also probably has something to do with the fact that she is 117th level now. We leveled up just a few minutes ago. 
Oh my god, he's annoying. Let's throw out our aerial muscle here. And almost kill him instantly. We have no choice but to retreat. What the hell? He died to normal people. Why? Whoa. And the switch counter. Which will kill him nice. I will slay any threaten those under my care. So now I will take care of these guys over here before progressing over to the north and I will let I will let my officers take care of him because I need to wait out uh, Guan So and Guan Ping at the floodgates otherwise they are going to flood everything What his lie? I must fall back. What the hell was that? I will slay any who threaten those under my care. Okay, so now let's go over to the north. Just in case they go directly to him. Sometimes they wander off. But I'm not going to take any chances here. Finally, he stopped blocking. That didn't hit anyone. Come on. I shall return nice. after reviewing my strategy. I will slay any who threaten those under my care. Let's just clear this up a bit. Over yet. And get a we few KOs on the way. So now, one soy one ping will spawn over here. And the reason why you want to wait for them at the gates is because once the one ping passes through this checkpoint over here, one soy will seal it and he will stand in front of it. And. Until you beat Guan So, the checkpoint will not open, and that is more than enough time for Guan Ping to take over the floodgates and flood everything. Ouch. Oh, why did you rally so fast? You come alone? Are you making fun of us? Actually, yes. Oh. Let's like try to clear this up a bit, just so I can have an easier time fighting them. After reviewing my strategy, I will slay any who threaten those under my care. Let's take this and this and let's do an iron muscle here. Which he will block, of course. Why wouldn't he? Oh, a full Musa Gauge. Wait, uh, let's try our R1 Musa. I didn't do that one yet. Whoa! It did a lot more damage than 
than I'm used to it doing. Holy shit. What the fuck? You see what happens when you fight 1v2 with these guys? You are an inspiration to us all. Okay. I think Lucian actually stole my kill here. Maybe. I don't know. So let's wait here just a bit more because Huang Zong and Ma Chao will spawn. And they will go straight to the main camp and try to kill Cao Ren. Which we must stop. We cannot accept anything less than the best possible result. One you, are you okay? And here we go. Actually, let's try out our holy shit. I got knocked out fast. Let's try out our rage moves over here. This way going in, then our split from Shu is assured. However, we have no other choice but to proceed. And of course, I missed Huang Zong completely. I have not but I still killed him. I am happy to leave with my life. So you see, this checkpoint over here will be opened only if you defeated Fushinan. While the checkpoint that is already opened down below I will, not let you will be opened by me fun. I would prefer not to have to resort to such underhanded tactics. But we well, so many regular people here. Cost. Let's just walk right by Perfect these oblets. I was looking for an opportunity to test my new tactics. We cannot hold out for much longer. <clears throat> so many of them, holy shit. I should have saved my Rage Musa for this over okay. here. Bye bye. They are just blocking. Now let's just like switch weapons regularly. So that I can get this attack. Holy shit. Attack damage and the movement speed and everything actually boost. Aerial Musso. That hit almost no one. I'll let you go for now. No. Don't think you won. No. Amazing. You sure know how to fight. Like I just switched my weapon. And he just went move so crazy on me. And now let's fight the one you again. I will never fall in battle to the likes of you. Yeah, but you're but you're still going to. And he's out of range for this, I My think. Sense of honor dictates that you must die. Actually no. He got hit, but it did not do any damage at all. Whoa. I think Lu Monk just did that. And I miss this. How? Oh. 
Nice. Finally. So we have managed to kill Guan Yu, but we lost Lu Meng, and it is actually a pretty good trade because we got the whole Jing province with it as well. So yeah, Lu Meng, you died for a great, great cause. But anyways, that would be it for this episode guys, uh, thank you all for watching and if you enjoyed leave any feedback at all as always and I will see you guys in the next episode.